What's up and welcome to this tutorial on how to beat the new Suguna boss. Make sure to like and subscribe if you want me to use other units. These are the units I'm going to be using. I'm going to use Itadori, Gojo, Choso, a support unit, and the, my two farm units. With these six units, it's really, really easy to do. I've already beat it once and I beat it really, really easily. So, all right, let's go in. Okay, once we're in, we're going to obviously ready up our vote start. And then place your arms first. Once you're able to place your other farms, place those two and upgrade them. Upgrade them even more. Once they're all upgraded once, let's just wait till the next wave. It's about to start. And then we're gonna upgrade them again. I'm gonna upgrade all of them to three. Once all of them are upgraded to three, you're gonna place all your Chosos like this. And then I'm gonna place another one right here. And then my support unit. I'm gonna place her right here. Should be good. And then I'm gonna upgrade my farm units to the max. And then place the other farm unit. Okay, so once your other farm unit is maxed out, I'm going to start placing my Gojos. And then I'm going to upgrade my Choso to level 5. And then I'm going to start upgrading Gojo to max level. Okay, once he has the max purple, I'm going to start upgrading the other Gojo. Okay, now I'm going to start upgrading the third Gojo. And we've killed the first boss. Okay, so I don't know what any of this means, so I'm just gonna pick a random one to be honest because the apps just came out, so I have no idea what this means. So I'm just gonna pick this one. Okay, so now that we have Max Purple on Gojo, we're gonna start upgrading Choso and get him to Bloodstorm, the max level. Okay, so now that that Choso is maxed out, I'm gonna start maxing out the other three Gojos. They each need just one more upgrade for them to be maxed out, so we're gonna do that.
Okay, now they're all maxed out. I'm gonna start maxing out another Choso. Now right here, if you want to use the Gojo ability, you can. Now that the second Chozo is maxed out, we're going to start upgrading another Chozo, so we can have three. Okay, that's the second boss, and I still don't know what this means, so if anybody knows, please comment, I would like to know. Now what I did for the 4th Choso is that I didn't even upgrade him at all because I wanted to save money for Itadori because at the end, the boss sprints to the end and that's when you need to place Itadori. Now right here, if you want to, turn on auto for the ability for Gojo, because it's really helpful so you don't have to do it yourself. So once he gets to like 122k health, he's gonna turn invincible and then just run. And then when he gets to the end, he's gonna start walking again, and then you're gonna place Itadori and just upgrade him. Notice how he has like insane damage? That's because he's boosted in this boss level, which is really weird. I don't know why they did that. But yeah, that's how you beat Sukuna. You can also do this nine more times to be able to evolve Itadori which I'm sure will be a good unit, hopefully. So we'll see about that. Now, actually, I wanted to double check to see if that counted for its door kills, the boss kills. So let's see. Okay, so yeah, this is how you do it. You shoot the boss nine more times, and then you'll be able to evolve Itadori to Sukuna. But yeah, that'll be the end of the video, so goodbye.